hi friends i'm back with a new video and in today's video we are going to talk about the 12 pairs of cranial nerves but in a different format but just a quick recap that all 12 pairs of cranial nerves are there with the nature whether they are sensory motor or mixed so it is olfactory number one sensory number two optic sensory number three oculomotor motor number four pathetic motor number five trigeminal mixed number six abducens motor number seven facial mixed number eight auditory sensory number nine glossopharyngeal mixed number ten vagus mixed number eleven accessory which is motor number twelve is hypoglossal which is motor in nature let's try to understand these formats in a different way a way that will help you to remember the functions also along with the diagram so what we need to understand first let's try to write all the numbers so we write number seven in a different way so let's take this to be as seven so i write number seven after this we write number one number one let's take it here in the center like the nose so i take it as number one after that we write number two number two is like the eye so let's take this to be number two then we write number three number three let's take as the eyebrows so i write as number three number four will be present below number two near here now when we are writing number five the fifth cranial nerve it should come somewhat big because it is for face so we write five in a little bit different way so this is number five then we write number six six is near the eye so we put it as number six seven we are not going to write because seven is already written as you can see in the diagram seven we wrote first then we are going for number eight let's take number eight to be like the years of this face so we take number eight as the year of the face then we have number nine for number nine we need to draw a tongue out so let's take it in this way now in this divide it two third so let's write it as number nine just behind number nine we write number ten now comes to number eleven so for number eleven just remember like the arms or you can say shoulder of this face so we write number eleven here so you put it in this way now comes the number twelve so number 12 we write on the tip now this is a facial expression so if when you look at the diagram it appears somewhat like face so let's try to understand now we put number one number one is here so number one is basically the nose of the face so definitely it is related to sense of smell now we write number two which you can see it's optic now number two is somewhere here so it is nothing but the eye so when you talk about number two the function is basically related to vision when you look at number three i have written number three on the eyebrows which is oculomotor so basically this is number three so it is also related to eye but it's like movement of the eye when we have to show some direction not by words only by eyes we just try to move the eye balls to show now number four we have written just below it below the eye only so it is it is somewhat you can say like the eyeballs right so number four is related to again eye but it is related to movement of eyeball when we go for number five as you can see the big one that we have written as number five number five is responsible for most of the functions so we can say it is for the touch taste 
you can say it is for touch taste jaw or even the tooth movement so this all can be included under number 5 because it includes trigeminal and when you go for number 6 again it is written near the eye so we can say it is again responsible for number 6 is also related to eye so it is basically movement of eye it is not eyeball it is just the movement of eye number 7 which you can see a big one so what is this since it is making a face so we call it as the facial nerve so it is responsible for face so it is responsible for what facial expression whatever facial expression we do that is in the facial or you can say it is movement of your neck movement of your tongue then saliva and many other functions when you talk about eight since we have made it as the year so it's very much clear pretty clear that this eight is related to year now when you go for year it is only for two functions one is hearing whatever we hear and equilibrium so the function the cranial nerve eight is for hearing and equilibrium nine we have written it somewhere on the tongue so let's put it as tongue here on the nine what is the role definitely the function is going to be taste or it can be to certain extent saliva secretion i hope this nine is visible okay the nine is for tongue the taste the number 10 is the vagus nerve so number 10 we have written it here this is number 10 the function of the number 10 is visceral sensation and visceral movement all the important sensations you can say for number 10 it is for visceral movement and sensation now after 10 we have the 11th one 11th we have made the hands of the face like the shoulder so we can say that the 11th the spinal accessory is responsible for movement of you can say larynx, pharynx, neck and shoulder. So this is what we have made number 11. And number 12 is the hypoglossal. It is at the tip of tongue. So we can say basically it is nothing but movement of tongue. This movement is controlled by the cranial. So this is how you can remember the functions of all 12 pairs of cranial nerves please do subscribe to my channel comment like share thank you very much